What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a trip over to Dallas. I've got to drop off our Tesla tomorrow morning at the service center. They're actually going to be replacing a few things that failed in the Tesla, but we'll be talking about that later on. But the most important part about this video is that we are leaving literally right now to go and get the first ever that has ever been on this channel. It's like the second or third Mopar that we have had on the entire channel. And we've never had one that was like really, really, really cool. The Viper to me, I'll take it, I'll take that back. It was cool, it was real cool. But this is gonna be just where this was. If this was the Viper, this car is gonna be, uh, it'll be up, up there as far as cool goes. Just take my word for it. We're gonna be doing some pretty insane stuff to this car. We're gonna hop on the road and hopefully, Make a smooth trip to Dallas and pick up this car. So let's go. drop the trailer and the Tesla off at our hotel that we're gonna be staying at tonight. We've got an appointment like super early in the morning, so we're gonna stay here tonight. Then we're gonna leave here, go all the way to Dallas, pick up the car, hang out around town for the night, and then I guess come back here and stay later on tonight, so. Whole lot of driving today, and it just started raining. Woo! Found us a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers don't know that. <laughs> the the hotezy. Tell you what, y'all go ahead and unload the car. I'm gonna go check in on the hotel real quick. Because unfortunately, it's in my name. Very nice. started raining obviously it's been raining pretty bad so perfectly on par with every other vehicle pickup it seems we're going through at least some bad weather on the way home wow there's a gt350 wow Whoa. there's a tesla model f and a whole lot of other model f's and shit oh you're joking look what else they have right there oh my god a real life f450 <laughs> oh how on forces that is an fx4 i am just wow. saying this trip could be really beneficial if we wanted it to be. There's a SNCC, a GT500. That's the most C8s in one place I've ever seen. What, what is that? this place, bro? Oh, there's a nice GT over here on some green wheels. There's a ZR1 over there, dude. Oh, Get the oh. There's a ZR1 on actual welds over there. Uh, I'm going to be honest. This is a pretty cool little dealership. We ain't just getting any Hellcat in case you guys haven't seen it. Well, they would have seen it, obviously. Well, they should have by this point because I saw the reveal, right?
Excuse me? <laughs> okay. But what's the deal on this car? <laughs> I figured you'd kind of like this place. Oh my god. He was on the phone. He was like, y'all know it's a manual. I was like, yeah, we were really trying to find one. <laughs> that looks pretty ridiculous, actually. Oh, it'll do. Uh -huh. It'll do. <laughs> oh, look at this. I've never really had any experience with much with these cars at all. On the way back. Oh yeah. Oh, wow, these seats are ridiculous. Very stock. Wow. This is pretty cool. 2,919 miles on this car. Like, really? Thank you. Yep. We'll take it. <laughs> I've been watching this car for sale, the listing, for no kidding, about a month and a half. Yeah. A month, maybe? I don't know exactly. As soon as I saw that color, I could not get the listing off my phone. I've been yeah. looking at so many other ones. We had found some for almost half the price, but this particular car is just unreal. Manual, guards red. It's got freaking six pistons in the rear. Oh my up god. Front. <laughs> It's a four and a three. Four piston motor, three piston motor. This thing is a monster. All right, so so far we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's like three more C8s here. This is the most C8s I've ever seen in one place. Yeah. That car is also beautiful. And then they got two uh, flat model S's in there. Also, never mind the GT500 sitting right here as well. Uh, this wagon. That, yeah, that wagon is ridiculous, dude. It's on Vossens. I know. That's all that. Holy shit. Look at it under the light, dude. Yeah. Since the lights came on. Oh my god. Get out of here. Really? Like, really bought a Hellcat? This is attempt. I want to say this is attempt number five about throughout the last probably two years of me trying to buy a Hellcat, but somehow something has actually failed. Before I bought the black car, I was actually trying to buy a Hellcat. Before I bought a lot of cars, the GT350, I was looking at Hellcats. We actually drove a few weeks ago all the way to Dallas to come get one. Finally, the stars have aligned and we got a freaking Hellcat on the channel. These seats are insane. Yeah, this is interesting. I need to learn where everything is in this car. I'm not gonna you know, even bullshit slightly. I really like this a lot. I never would have thought that I would like Hellcats, especially like this, but dude, this wide body one, and this color especially is like... Hey, did he give you the key back? <laughs> it says key fob has left the vehicle. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> Brother! <laughs> we need the key! Bruh, I f with this car! Very nice. Oh my god! <laughs> It's really just that slick. That wouldn't even be hitting it hard, honestly. <laughs> Pulling out of the dealership, doing a nice little shitty. This is actually wild. Watch this. Oh. Watch out. Look at the active horsepower, brother. Oh, yeah, dude. This thing is, like, it's peppy. Real shit peppy. I need to figure out how to put this motherfucker in, like, snow and ice mode or some shit. Slow and ice. No. Snow and ice, you uh. <laughs> Slow, like, slow and ice. ice. <laughs> wow, dude. I... I'm not lying. Like, I really like this a lot. This is my second time ever driving a Hellcat, and the first one that I drove was an older one, stock body. And it was really nice. Like, the experience driving it was phenomenal, but the new ones are very updated and very, very cool. We can't even do anything fun either. Like, we go buy a 700 horsepower car and literally can't even do anything in it because it's raining. So, I guess at this point, we're gonna go to a gas station, regroup, figure out what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go plan on hopefully going and taking some pictures of this thing around downtown Dallas tonight, uh, get some Instagram content and stuff like that. And then after that, we're headed to Tyler, Texas tonight to go um, stay at our hotel. And then in the morning, like I said, gotta go drop off the Tesla. I really have been very okay with every other giveaway car going away. I've bit my tongue and I've let it happen. <laughs> But look at this thing. Oh my God. Look at the girth. Just handfuls of girth. These are on all seasons too, and they were still doing, they were still that loose. There's only 305s in the back here factory, that's why. What do you mean only? I guess that is a good That's a size pretty size. meaty size tire. Oh. Man. Sick. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. It's cool as, as like shit. It really is. I really think this is the coolest car that we've ever had on the channel. But the 
funny thing, the backup camera is like, I'm not kidding, 240p. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Dodge. <laughs> oh my God, dude. This thing. Oh, with the FedEx truck in back. Tell me why that's the hardest picture of all time. <laughs> For no reason. It has been probably about 60 miles that I've been driving this car and quite frankly, no lie at all here, this is probably one of the most fun cars that I have almost ever driven. And the reason being is because the driving experience is actually really, really unique. You would never think, but the manual versions of these cars are extremely different than the automatic versions. And the new wide body version of this car is also pretty cool because it's got wider wheels and tires and you can really feel it. The strangest thing about this though, is that honestly, it lives up to its name. It really feels like a boat. You drive it and honestly, the driving experience is very similar to the Shelby Super Snake, the F-150, except for it feels like it is on a car's chassis now. So like a car suspension. Extremely low to the ground, it's, it's very weird. And the brakes, surprisingly, are phenomenal. Like, they stop extremely, 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 extremely well. Very surprising how nice those brakes are. What are you doing? Ah. Creep. Oh my god, look how weird this man is. Muppet. Absolute Muppet. The door. The door clicking from opening it from where it's wrecked. I'm dead. All right, let's get back on the road. Oh my God, can you grab this? Honestly, the most impressive part so far about this car is the seats. These are the most comfortable. Oh, it's so cool. Woo, she barks. <laughs> oh, bro, I love this car <laughs> all right we just made it back to the hotel look at the desk in the trailer everything's good luckily we're now gonna park a whole assembly line of trailer tesla wide body hellcat totaled f-350 it's <laughs> quite funny. The plan is tomorrow morning, we're gonna take the Tesla over to the Tesla service center, drop that off, and then head back home to show everybody the car. It is really, really freaking late, and I'm really tired, so we'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna go up to our room. Tomorrow. Oh, man. Look at this humidity. Sorry the lens is all foggy. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> okay, this is pointless. Anyways, we're taking the Hellcat and the Tesla to go to the service center. Nick's gonna drive the Tesla. Andrew's gonna drive the truck and trailer. Plus we get this thing dropped off. We gotta head back about two and a half, three hours to get back home. I think we're like 20 minutes shy from having to be at the Tesla dealership, so we should probably get on the road. Let's go. JoJo CYP. Not gonna lie, this is pretty interesting. The Tesla dealership here is like in a strip mall. I guess it's not even a Tesla dealership. It's like a, it's just a Tesla service center, but it's really interesting. Like literally a strip mall. There's a flooring store right here. All right, no, there's the flooring store. There's something else right here. There's like an insurance company down here. And then there's just Tesla. <laughs> Quite interesting. I'm gonna run inside real quick, start, I guess, figuring out how to do this. I've never done this before, and then I guess we'll see what they think about the Tesla. That was actually a pretty painless process. They told me that it's actually only gonna take like literally a few hours. We thought it was gonna take a long time today. The interesting thing though is that I didn't know it was gonna take only a few hours. I thought it was realistically gonna take about all day, maybe a few days even. And we were just gonna drop it off and head back home, but now they said they'll be done in the same day, so. Makes it a little complicated. What up, brother? So, fun situation. Um, painless process, by the way. Very easy, and it is gonna be free. But They said that it'll be done today, before Bruh. five. So, <laughs> I guess you guys will have to go back now, maybe, and me and Nick will have to hang out somewhere around Tyler, Texas for literally an entire day, I guess. I was gonna say, y'all can go ahead and head back, because I know you got shit to do. Y'all be safe. Godspeed, gentlemen. Godspeed. All right, they are headed out. Oh, looky. All right, guys, they just took the car back. We're gonna find something to do around Dallas today. The EMMC chip is what I believe has gone out in the car, and it's essentially what controls the entire electronics of the car. They're upgrading that under warranty with all new stuff from the new 2021 models, being that it is electric. It's pretty cool because you can uh, upgrade everything all at once to all of the new stuff, and it's gonna be basically like a brand new car. I guess we're gonna find something to do around here for eight hours until they're done. Right top five, completely unbiased. It's Ruby, Dylon, 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 Dylon. That's a hill I'm willing to die on. I'll go up and get it like Zion, motherfucker. 
Hey, I feel like the number one draft pick. Get the hat. Jersey with my name on the back. I feel like the number one draft.